what's going on guys welcome back to today's video uh we're at the pond and for some reason i thought it was a good idea to come out here and try to go fishing when it's 97 degrees so expectations are really really low but we're gonna give it a try anyways i'm starting out with a weightless senko a little four inch uh yum dinger and i'm throwing it wacky style hopefully if any of these fish are gonna bite near the surface it's gonna be nice and slow and then if i'm not gonna get any luck there i might try a ned rig and try to get it down there a little bit farther in this pond to see if there's any bass that are willing to cooperate so stay tuned hopefully we get into something clear skies for the most part a little cloudy and it's just excessively hot so we'll see what happens well i'm working this bank and it is not going real well there's a lot of bluegills up shallow so I guess if I have to turn to the gills, I probably could, but I was hoping to get a few largies. There's one. First largemouth. Very dark one. No shocker there that the first largemouth comes off of a spot that there's quite a few bluegills. Um, I'm guessing he was probably just waiting on one of those bluegills to mess up. And then he would uh, take care of business. First largemouth is a little 12 inch fish. I don't know why he's bleeding so bad. I didn't hook his gill or nothing. That's weird to me. Oh well, I'm sure he'll be fine. That first fish came on kind of like a green and pearl color. And now I'm switching over to, this is actually a Bass Pro Shops tournament series, little four inch worm. Not sure the exact color, but it's kind of like an earthworm tones to it. So we're gonna see if we can get one on this one now. There's an excessive amount of bluegills moved up shallow today. Thought they would be off the beds by now, but I guess not. There's one. Ah, he's gone. But a nice nibble there. Second bite of the day, couldn't execute that one. I didn't set the hook hard enough, and that is 100% my fault. I kind of was thinking it may have been weeds, but sure enough, it was a bass. I'm hoping it'll come back. There he is. Ah, that is not the one I hooked a few minutes ago. Just a little squeaker. Out much deeper than I was expecting in this little spot. Those bluegills are so shallow, I figured these bass would be a little shallower too, but I guess I need to cast out a little deeper and try some different spots. Second fish of the day, going down in size, unfortunately, but we'll get on them. We still got some time. Second one, just a little guy. Day with it being you know 97 to 100 degrees i'm really really taking my time and letting that bait sink trying to get it all the way down to the bottom and hopefully these fish will pick it up all righty second fish there on the old bps worm car said it was a hundred um i looked online and it says it feels like 101 but apparently the weatherman thinks it's only 93 degrees out and i beg to differ because it is boiling out my skin is it's hot so uh shocked these fish are biting that second fish there we're gonna keep on trying and hopefully we can get a few more but oh there's one right there while i'm on camera look at this look at that that's so cool i gotta put this back on my head and take him off now well to be honest i was not expecting that i think this guy was coming up for a bluegill and he's seen my worm was probably moving a lot slower than those bluegills are so uh we got this guy but that is by far the best one of the three i've caught so I'm wondering if that was the big one I lost a little bit earlier. Another beautiful largemouth right in these bluegill beds. Boom. Brought me a giant bag of four inch worms. You just never know what's gonna happen. I like to use the white and pearl ones for days where you can kind of see in the water and you can try to sight fish because it's easier to see those white worms than it is like a dark blue. So on days like today when I really can't see in the water very well, I'm just throwing anything that's dark just because it's I mean, it, it does no good any other time. So we will see if we can get one. This is like a very dark purple with some turquoise in it. This is another Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series worm. I believe the size hook I'm using is a one-aught hook. It's perfect for these four-inch baits because most of these four-inch stick baits are the same diameter as a five-inch worm. And so you don't want to go down in size too much with your hook if you're throwing some thinner diameters it's easier to go down to maybe a size one but with this bait you definitely want to try to stick with that one on when the line just bounces real hard it's either hitting the bottom or you've got some sort of bite on it 
that one there, I'm guessing, was probably just a nice size bluegill that just uh, picked it up and spit it right back out. No way it could eat the thing. Well, we have officially ended side one. That's kind of the pretty good side. Coming up now on a couple drain culverts that usually have some fish in it. But so far, we're doing all right. Three fish. I'm, I'm really happy with that. So hopefully we can get a few more. But if not, either way, I'm calling today success. Pushing 100 degree temperatures and we're, we're still able to catch some fish. So very cool. Right off this weed edge is typically where you're going to get a lot of your bites. I'm trying to throw it about six or eight feet out there and then reel in just a little bit. That way it falls right on the outside of these weeds. You're going to get caught up a little bit every now and then, but a lot of these fish are running that line pretty hard. Another really important thing to do is try to cast near and around all these drain culverts. Sometimes there'll be fish backed up in the drains. As I was walking over here, I seen three fish come out of here. I think I might have one. I bumped it. Three fish swim out of this culvert, so I know they're in here and around this area. None off the culvert. That is a shocker. Almost always get one off there. Seen a lot and had one bite. The rain actually feels wonderful. I bet it's cooling down probably at least 10 or 15 degrees. Oh, well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This dog just decided to come out here too and just it's obnoxious, but hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can tell, I'm getting wet, so we're gonna pack up and start to get out of here. Feels good, but it's kind of obnoxious now and it's really, really coming down. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's probably a little short video, but we did get a few bass before it started to rain. Zero percent chance of rain today, by the way. This looks a little bit more than zero. So stay tuned guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace y'all.